Hey everyone, Nalzi here, and it's time to sit back, relax, have some chill, and play the yog. Hope everyone out there is doing fantastic. I'm going to pick this girl here and this chap here, and press start. I'm pretty sure I haven't played these two characters in combination before. The yog will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Hopefully, we're going to do well this time. Um, so yeah, hope everyone out there is doing cool. Me, I just woke up uh, quite recently, actually. Uh, I was up all night. I had music stuck in my head. I had uh, that song by Imagine Dragons just stuck in my head all night. So I was like, screw it, I'm getting up. So I got up, I got out of bed, had a shower, and um, browsed like Reddit for like four hours. And then I went to sleep at about 2 p.m. And well, it was more like a nap, really. I kind of slept like kind of like five hours, kind of had a five hour nap, you know. And, uh, and here I am, feeling uh, pretty refreshed. Reaper of Souls for Diablo 3 is out later tonight, so I'm feeling pretty uh, jazzed for that. But for now, I'm pretty jazzed about the Yogg. Now, we need to name our two characters. Um, for the girl, we'll call her Sybil. I quite like the name Sybil. And for the guy, I'm thinking Jeff. I quite like Sybil and Jeff. I like those. Now, what should we do first? I think we should... Hmm... What could I do? I'm gonna go to the hospital. Maybe, no. Maybe? Maybe? We could go to... What's, what's, what's she got? What's, the... she's got all fives, okay. She's, all her stats are fives. I'm trying to think how to win this game. And I'm trying to think what to do. I'm pretty sure if I go there, then I'll start the, the story where I went crazy before. If I go here, I'll get a fortune teller, but I've not got wealth, right? Well, let's go to the Alchemy Tower. Should I go to the Alchemy Tower? Alchemy Tower seems... Seems smart. So, yeah. So, uh, Sybil can become a cool-ass kind of mage. Okay, brew potion. Spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. Again, two magic and one mind. One day you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists have accidentally created an ooze monster. How do you dispatch the ooze? Oh, gosh. Um, blast it with magic. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemists all cheer! You gain one charm. Super! Okay. Well, you're welcome, alchemists. Right, what are we going to do with Jeff? Jeff, I'm feeling... Hmm. I feel that Jeff might be a, cr a crime fighter kind of guy. But I'm trying to think, if he fought crime, what would he be at the end? Like, when you pick your speciality. Hmm trying to think what would be best. Oh. Let's fight crime. Let's do it. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs violently ripping each other apart. Oh my god. One of them spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? No, try to stop the dog fights, of course. You try to convince the gamblers that dogfighting is wrong. Your words fall on deaf ears. Very quickly, they get very angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. You don't feel you've got a strength of speed to match this guy. You run away, hoping you won't follow. Oh, God. That wasn't great. Okay. They say the last time it came, the Yog devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Okay. Sybil, stay at the Alchemy Tower. And um, why don't you, why don't you uh, brew another potion? Yeah. You spend the week experimenting with different brews. You gain two magic, one mind. One day while on the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something, it'll explode. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to toss it out the window. I think last time I drank it and it went very badly. You toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's water supply. Oh, wait a minute. You take you take off early for the day, hoping no one finds out. Oh dear. Oh, that doesn't bode well if it went into the water supply. Okay, Jeff, your your crime fighting uh, talents weren't great. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to beef you up. Let's compete in a fight, maybe. Maybe that'll be kind of you know make him stronger. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One night, on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Uh, hmm. 
Oh shit, do you have a rusty dagger? Uh, a rusty dagger? I, have, I don't know if I've had my tetanus shot. Should I leave it or pick it up? Hmm. Pick it up, why not? As you pick it up, you hear a voice from behind whisper, you're not worthy. Oh, okay, it dissolves into black smoke. Within seconds, the blade is gone. You feel like you've learned something, having witnessed such impressive magic. You gain one magic in one mind. God, my poor Jeff, he keeps getting into situations where he could do th something very well, but then fails. Okay, it was honest in a heartbeat, or so the story goes. The air shook, the air went still. Oh God. Okay, we're getting there. Um, hmm. Jeff, oh, it's Sybil. Uh, what are we gonna do with Sybil? Alchemy Tower again? Should, should we put her in the Alchemy Tower again? Um, I like her getting three weeks of experience. This time she can clean it. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labour and gain one physique and one magic. One day an artificer stops by. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the terror all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that she doesn't choose you is a very humbling experience. Oh no! I was a- I'm a good alchemist! Damn it! Okay, Jeff. What are we gonna do with Jeff? Jeff, 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 Jeffy, Jefferino, Jeffy. Um, hmm. So he's quite strong. His finesse isn't bad. Ooh. Hmm. What should we do with Jeff? We could take him to the arena again and fight some more. What do you think of that? Fight in the arena and then go back to fighting crime. Yeah? Compete in a fight. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. While wandering around the halls between your matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. Oh. An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much. After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular faces in the arena, butts into the conversation. Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's in time. You see an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? I feel very happy for Kelly, of course. I feel it's good that both of you have moved on. This encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. And I gained some charm. Okay. And then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Okay. So, Sybil has quite high magic now. What could she do with it? What could Sybil do with all this magic? She could... What's in the forest again? Chop wood and hunt. Okay. Oops. No, I don't want to do either of these. How do I how do I do uh I don't want to do either. No, no way. I don't have to pick either of these, do I now? Okay, okay. You could chop some wood, why not? You spend a week cutting down some trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day in the woods you spot a six legged deer drinking out of a river, glowing a fluorescent pink. What? The sight fills you with wonder and amazement, and I gain a mind. As it drinks, you can see another pair of legs growing out of its back. What? What the hell is going on in the forest? Oh my gosh. Alright, we're, we're physique 10. Now it's time to fight crime. Bang. Jeff, the crime fighter. You spend the week out smarting and beating up criminals. You get one mind, physique, and finesse. One day, while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones used to line... The road seemed to have a certain pattern on them. With a piece of paper, you managed to work out the symbol corresponds to the letter for the alphabet. Just, I remember doing this before. Um, it brings us into like a little kind of room with two thingies. Uh, the arcane of the gallant. I chose the uh, gallant before because it gave me good kind of physical properties. So I'm going to go with that again. You touch the gallant. Everything flashes white. I wake up at home feeling a little odd, and I gain three charm. Oh, okay. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? I haven't forgotten. I have not forgotten. Uh, right. So, Sybil has had some great experience in the Alchemy Tower. She's chopped some wood. She is pretty much ready to take on the world. Hmm. What do we do? I could take Sybil uh, to the... No, Alchemy Tower. Alchemy Tower. Let's keep beefing up her magic. Let's brew some potions. Why not? 
You spend the week experimenting with different... I don't think I've had the alchemy tower late into the game. Different potion brews. You had two magic in one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. One alchemist waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. Then the old alchemist turn to you to see what you can come up with. A simple trick or a complex trick? My magic is 12. I think I can pull off a complex trick. I think I can. With a snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit atop it and ride around the room. Everyone else is quite impressed. And I gain two charm. Wow. I brought a chair to life. That's amazing. It's kind of like Cinderella. Um, Cinder Sibyl. Sibyl. Sibarella. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sibarella. I like it. Uh, okay. What am I going to do with Jeff? <laughs> what am I doing with Jeff? Um, Jeff. Jeffy Jeffers. Jeffers. Hmm, what could we do with a Jeff? I'm going to go back and fight crime. I'm going to fight some crime. Why not? Fight crime. You spend a week at smarting and beating up criminals. Again, because we're awesome. One mind, physique, and finesse. One night, a small child approaches you with its hands cupped and outstretched towards you. He doesn't say anything, but looks up at you with wide, waiting eyes. I don't have any wealth. You're also broke. You don't have a penny you could spare. You end up hanging out all night, though, talking with the child. Okay, so I chose to give him money, but it said I didn't have any. So maybe, rather than just selecting ignore him, maybe that's a bit better to show him like I'm broke as well, you know. Talking with the child. Hearing a child's outlook in the world allows you to see things in a slightly different light. And I gain some mind. The yog. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. I think this is the last week, actually, week six. Um, what should we do here? Uh, okay. Mm, Sybil? Get back into the alchemy tower! Oh, yeah. I think she's going to be a mage, isn't she? I, I like that. I like her being a conjurer. Brew a potion. Uh, experiment with different potion brews and two magic one minds. One day, you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrible noise and lumbers about slowly. Oh. What should I do? I don't know, it seems like quite a discovery, to be honest. I kinda, if it was me, I would be praising him. Um, I mean, it sounds like a zombie. It seems like it's a zombie. So... Maybe I should destroy it, but in real life, that's not what would happen. You would be like, wow, you actually did do it, and then you'd find out what he's done wrong. Um, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I'm praising him. That's amazing you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's present. That's right. I am kind of discomforted. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. Good. Again, one charm. Okay, well, maybe that's going to come back later and help me. Right, so we've got um, Crime Fighter... Uh, Jeff is going to fight some more crime. I want him to be the bastion. Maybe there's a police officer thing. I can't remember. You spend a week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind physique of this. One night a woman walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely tonight. Uh, no. No, thank you. Too wealth? Come on now. Not made of money. Your loss. And that's it. She says, she says you're lost. And she leaves. Okay. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become, our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? I don't think so. I think we can save you. Now, we want, um, what do we want here? Sybil, you can be the conjurer, huh? Absolutely. It's actually, I think it was there already. Conjurer, yes. You take it upon yourself to conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps with rebuilding efforts significantly. Fantastic. Um, the town drunk. Why is it auto-selected the town drunk? That's, hmm. Physique 13, so I'm going to go builder. I'm not going to go the town drunk. Well, maybe town drunk would help. I don't know. Maybe, like, the town drunk cheers people up. Maybe I should embrace that. But I'm not a drunk. I'm physique, I'm high physique and high finesse. But I've not got high charm, which is why I'm avoiding the leader. What would a smelter be? 
What would a tailor be? Finesse high, I think, maybe? What would a smelter be? High physique, maybe? Hmm. Builder. I'm going to go high... Builder seems ha seems logical with physique. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. You rebuild homes at breakneck speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Oh, two significantly. Oh, maybe. We might have we might have done this. And so, we set about our tasks once more living our lives. This time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end... We flourished! Towers once wrecked and ravaged rose towards the skies. Trees again took root, then blossomed. We all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the yog ever return, we will be ready. Oh, that sounds like a good ending. That is a good ending. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. We, I think we did it. How does our character, how does Sybil get on? With the town fully rebuilt, you spend more and more time in the alchemy tower. Your potion brewing abilities quickly become among the best in the world. Your health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies, with people venturing far and wide to buy them. But you never learn how to brew a love potion. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, look! Oh, right, look, I'm right there! With the town rebuilt, you decide to become a full-time arena warrior. You slowly rise the rank, knocking out scores of fighters, even ones as great as Jean the Beautiful. Before long, you become the arena champion. You travel across the world fighting the very best of the best. Tales are sung far and wide of your mighty feats of strength. Ah, it's a shame they couldn't meet each other. <laughs> well, that was wonderful. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost definitely sure that's the best ending that we can get. Um, before, we didn't do so well, but today we did fantastic. So good job, Sybil. Good job, Jeff. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this little video, then please do click like if you fancy. And you can drop a comment below with your thoughts on my selections and if you would have done anything differently. Okay, cool. Well, I've been Nazi and you've been fantastic. And I'll catch you all next time. See you later. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hooty foo people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.